Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm playing Ten Tengami. This is part of my Steam cleaning series where I go through all the games in my Steam library and try to figure out what I have or what it is or what it do. I have no idea what the game is, but it's got a nice uh, rose, but no. Cherry blossom tree in the background? There we go. Let's go to a new game. Uh, click book. Nope. Click and drag book? Ah, ooh. Whoa. Pop up book. Nice. Drag to open. Dreams. Drag to turn page. I like this look. Fading. Huh? Gone? Click. 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 Page. Do I have. Oh, there's a post. Uh, cherry blossom. Hey, buddy, don't. I know it's probably dark and gloomy out, but it's it's just seasonal defection affection is order. Seasonal depression. I can't remember what that's called. It's late. I'm tired. Got this game to play. Alright, you feeling better now? Are your eyes open? A little creeped out. Alright. Click to enter. Will do. Ooh, turning sideways, buddy, is not not your best side. All right, loading up. Mm -hmm. Come on, yeah, man. So, uh, so far, this game, uh, it's got a pretty interesting, oh, there we go, art style. Click to walk, can do. Is this a walking simulator? Click, okay. There's a wolf hollering, hey, buddy, hey, wolf, aw. Pet that wolf. Oh, he's a friendly wolf. Click the moon? What's this? Oh, that's options. Not so friendly. Parallaxing, really like. It's a good... I mean, it's all actually... It looks like the actual 3D elements, but it gives a nice parallaxing feel to it. I like the paper. So much of this game is already... Charming in that sense. I mean, I don't know about the gameplay yet, because I've only clicked to move. Ooh, do I jump? How do I jump? Drag to pull. Oh, this here? Okay. Is that... Whoop. I hear breaking... Ah! Weird. Some Paper Mario going on here. Shh, good puppy. Good puppy. What's your name? Probably Snowflake or something nice like that. Keep on trucking. A uh, bit rough animations going on the steps here. It just looks like it's welded to the ground where he just thumps down. I really like that though. That is... I mean, it's simple, like... From a mechanical standpoint, it's just really nice looking. Will you autopath? There you go. I don't like how when he turns sideways he's... I mean, he's two-dimensional. It's a papercraft thing. But I know in like Paper Mario your character has at least a minimum size because you don't want to lose track of him. Or her. We're trucking. First puzzle solved. I like the dogs, like the trees. I might have done something on these hard edges here. Like done a filter bit, maybe put a little mist on that. It's okay on the dirt, but on the water, it, it, the moving textures really show off. All right, so I'm gonna go around. Just gonna path. Pathing's decent. Hey, Wolfie. Ooh. Hey, Wolf. I was gonna use that. Wolf. Ah, oh, what a jerk dog. You gonna go away now? Huh? Huh? Go. Can I trick you to go in the little little den there? Oh my God! What a jerk pub you are! All right, I'm gonna keep walking this way then. You seem to be intent on following me. Oh, what a bad dog. There's another wolf. Why don't you guys go play? Romp. 
Romp? Do dogs romp? Romp dogs romp. Okay, I can click and pull these. Whoa. Bop, 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 bop. No. Bop. 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 It's a puzzle? Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna be a jerk and follow him back. Okay, so this is clearly a puzzle. Is that a good howl? So from a gameplay design standpoint, I've solved this puzzle, but I don't know why. I mean, clearly it was like do an order or something, but the fulfillment of solving a puzzle comes when you feel smart for figuring it out. And I here feel no smarter. In fact, I'm, I feel my normal dumbness when it comes to solving puzzles like this, where it's just, I fiddled with it and brute forced my way through. Um, it's really tough to make puzzles that are smart for the player and also challenging for them at the same time. Sorry, make the player feel smart while also being challenging. But you probably want to add a little bit more indicator, or more indicators to say, a few more indicators on what is going on or hints. Even if, even if it feels like you're... I'd rather be babied and know like, oh, the puzzle was so easy than solve the puzzle without knowing why. Ooh, I like that. That's really nice. Now granted that's a lot of personal preference and everybody's got different uh, different needs when it comes to that. Cool, like the background is like race paper walls. Yet I would say that if given the choice, I'd rather be babied and have the puzzle be obvious than to solve it and not know why. That's a good question. We're making good progress here. We've gone through like three stages. Looks like there's only, just as going downwards, there's only one walk animation, so he just cycles and slides. A piece of the crust seems to be missing. It won't unfold it. Okay. It's a fetch, fetch quest. In most adventure games, it's nice that if you double click, you run to transition faster. A lot of modern puzzle games also let you double-click at exits to warp to the next room. It's one of those things that being the most impatient gamer around, or at least the most impatient gamer I know, I really enjoy it when games, you know, it's a nice looking game, the walk cycle animation is not standing, but it would be an, an improvement if it would, uh, whoa, I like that a lot, how it changes, like not only flipping you uh, changing what it sees, but also changing the perspective. Like now we are looking down the well. That's really cool. Are we lowering the water? And this floats, I'm assuming. Water go up. Water go up. So that was a super simple puzzle, but like it was clear that these have a, that's the effect. I don't feel like a genius for, for beating it or solving it, but I do feel like I knew what was going on and it was my my player interactions was caused the puzzle to be resolved. And I'm patient and wanna run. Run, 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 run. Maybe it's right mouse, R, no. There is no run. It gives me more time to chatter on to other people, meaning you there in viewer land. 
Poop, poop. Is that necessary to do the drag? That's kind of slick, but the exit should be on that side of the door. I'll just open that door from here. Now from a storytelling standpoint, I don't know, is this inside? I've lost some context on where we are. Turn page. See, now we're going from outside the house. That's, that's really good. I, I think I want to see that in more games now. Oh, it's a rose. It's a, uh, it's a cherry blossom. Oh, I see. So we found a different exit or entrance. Can we go around? Can we? Can we? Can we get behind there. Hmm. We go back in that room and look around a little bit more. There might be something else I'm missing. Oops, Clicked off the edge. So that's the downstairs basement. Clearly we wanna go. Hmm. That is permanently open. Okay, so. Let us... Is there anything this way? Look at that right, it should be there. Let's just wander over this way a little bit, see. Let's see if there's anything here we can... Ooh! Ha! A secret passage! Lots of clickables. Oop, another passage. Sure, we'll turn the light on and off does. Stay down. Oh, I wonder if I get seen with a light, like something bad happens. I'll never know. Which is another aspect whoop, of game development where you kind of want to teach the player something. Whoop. Goodbye, lights. Goodbye. Before you make them pass it. Like show it off in some way. I mean, this is a simple game, and, I, and I'm not, I'm not trying to make this a big negative against this game. So I'm really liking what this has got going. It's a little weak gameplay wise, but uh, visually, I, I would love to see more. In fact, I will. Like in the house, it was nice that they showed. Oh, there's another passageway, but it wasn't clear. Like I decided to wander because I didn't know what to do, and then I found the answer. Again, that's not as fulfilling as getting an idea to go there or knowing. Like if I had started in the middle and I had a left or right option and had been going left would have been the house and going right would have been the secret passage hallway. Even if I couldn't open it, I at least know there's something out there instead of just assuming there was. Get that blossom. Up, 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 up. Wolf sleeping beneath the pale moonlight, dreams unfold. Dreams unfold. That's not a five seven. That's not a haiku. Wolf sleeping three, under the under under the pale full moon. Is it, that's not three six. Wow! Wow! Oh, I got, I blossomed the heck out of that part of the tree. I'm guessing there are four areas. At least the load times are only bad in the major transitions. There weren't any that I noticed, at least for uh, the minor ones with the side of chapter. But still, so other, th other thinking time questions to put up here while this is loading. The, uh, I think the interaction points highlight well. That's a good thing to have the, the glowing rings. The sound effect seems fine, music seems fine. Oh, a nice red tint. I would still, here's what I would do. The, I would probably want to add a filter to put a little bit of frayed edges on paper. That's what it is. Paper never, well, this style of papercraft never has perfect edges, or at least this many perfect edges. 
I would want to have like a little bit of fraying on the edge. I think that would really... In the version 2 of this game, Tengami 2, I think that would be a great improvement. Because these hard edges just stand out a lot. Trucking? Maybe this guy should whistle. Oh. Okay, so I can hold that down. There's more over here. It's not exactly clear that there's not more there walking. A little soundtrack. A nice jaunty tune going on. Ba Boom. You will not auto walk there. There must be something I can turn here. Well, what do you know? Whoop. Whoop. Okay, so it's a little, uh, a little bit of a puzzle. Okay, can it turn again? Huh? Huh? What? There you go. So I like this, like, see, there's a bit of it in the, like, there's definitely texture in this paper there. I can see it. I can see it. And I think the hard edges betray that look. Like, they put a lot of work into making it look that way, and then it's betrayed by some of their styly choices. Styly choices is a word. I can flip with these while I wait for him to walk, because he is so slow. Keep going. See, now that's a tricky question here that I'm not asked out loud. But putting the same puzzle twice in a row? I know I've preached, I've preached about test and teach. Preached about the test and teach. Where you want to teach the player something and then test their ability to, to do it. But that right there was not... Like I, the, the, with the puzzles, you kind of don't have to do the same thing in a lot of sense. Uh, I'm probably being a little unclear here for what that means. And again, it sounds like I'm just tearing this game a new one, but he walks really slow, so I have to talk about something. Turn the page. Inside, ooh. Hello. Hello, what's back here? I don't see any interaction points. Is there more to walk this way? Is it another secret passage underground? Is it a bell I must ring? Cannot ring bell. Cannot ring bell. Oh, all right. Ooh, well, they'll change season. Now the snow has come, winter has befallen us, the doors are in different places, it appears. Can't interact with them. What's out this way? Hmm. It's a lonely little tree. So with the art style, they've just retextured it between uh, whatever that was, fall or spring, to winter. So like the branches should be bare, at least as far as I understand in my limited knowledge of the world of how trees work. On a piece of the dial. I don't know if I need a dial yet. And it was weird that it was floating there, but 
Who am I to judge? So in this situation, if you're going to commit to doing the season change, I would have some of these trees be a little bit more branches and a lot less leaves on them. Oops. Music should probably fade too. Do I have a place to put this dial? Can I dial it in? Yeah, turn the page. Dial, dial. Oh, one. Okay, so. Alright. So I must have a part of the dial. Keep on trucking. There's a little bit of a effect on his feet, little dust clouds. Footprints would have been nice. And we're trucking. Can I walk past the bell? Yes, I can. Is this the end of the world? Yes, okay. So I found the end of the world. Putting it inside another room adds scope and context to this game where seeing the room behind this area clearly shows that this is not I am not living in this world, I am viewing this world. It's like uh, a diorama or a pop-up book as you saw when you open it. So it keeps reminding you like, hey, this is this is a visual story. I wouldn't say novel because there's not been a lot of words yet. Ring. I can go this way. Can I ring it again? All right, so there's three seasons. Oof. There you go. But as I was saying, having that reminder in the background does anchor this game in its sense of you are a visitor, you're not a visitor, you are observer of the story and not truly the character. For I am seeing into this diorama, this, this shadow box, not shadow box, diorama, this papercraft world, I am not actually living in it because I have walls and houses outside of it. Keep on rolling. Is there another piece of the... Oh, I see. This is frozen or during the winter, so I can walk out with a piece of the dial. Well, I didn't see another dial lying around. Let's go back to the door here. Hello. Close that. Okay, so I don't know why. I couldn't... That was confusing to me. Just take it. Does it matter where this is? I guess not. Oh, now I must open the door. Okay. Is this the hint here? Is this thing I need? This is the... Okay, so that is the window in the background. So... I'm looking through there and I'm seeing autumn, even though it's currently not autumn, spring. Is it summer? Hard to say. And... Hmm. So I figured it out. And I'm glad I figured it out. But would I have liked it better if, like, clicking on it would have given you a look and say, you see autumn through the window to like hammer it home I hmm. I don't know it's a good game design question there's no wrong answer for a lot of this stuff the only answer is I mean it's very easy to say right or wrong when it comes to, to games but it's not right or wrong it's just you're you're making it for an audience you're, you're designing your audience so by not putting this in there it's more for the people who like that kind of obscurity like I am not the only person who plays video games. What's that? Okay, so that didn't teach me anything. I am less smart than I thought. Bells? No. Nope. Let's go here. Maybe I have to go back to winter? Maybe I didn't figure it out. Maybe here I'm like, Oh, I'm so smart, I figured it out. And when in truth, I did not.
Did I... Did I... Do it? Just... Okay. I'll take it. I'm, I'm, I'm easy like that, but... I don't feel like I earned it. Yeah. Okay. Spring, then? Oh, wait, no. New door opened up. Aha! Rose... No, cherry blossom. A pristine waterfall. Six. Cascading down words. Five. Crimson leaves. Three. That's these are not haikus. I would have made those haikus. <laughs> well, that has been according to the achievement list, half of half of Tagami. I despite my uh grumping about some of the games, I, I make those criticisms because I like what I'm seeing and that I want more of it and I want to help improve it because that is what I'm saying. So I think the designers and the people who made this game did a good job. I would have gone a little further in some areas, but you never know with size and budget and scope and all that. Uh, it's really slick. I hope they do another shot at it. And with that, I'm done. Cheers!